but trying to get sure TV or something to fill in fit in there real good <laughs> let's go I haven't bought a single crate in a long time a long long time I always buy the three crates at a time generally the way it's recommended best for time the uh, savings you get aren't really worth it how can I help you what vehicle blizzard. should I tell them you want whatever you want I'll get him to bring it up to the helipad thanks Benny all right away we go Let's go get that last crate. Oh. Yeah. Just ping the collection location through to you. Pick up the goods and bring them back to the warehouse. I don't anticipate any trouble. That's what I like to hear. Although, she's usually wrong. <laughs> she's wrong a lot. Let's switch over to our missiles. I like to use that as like a radar. Do not fire your missiles. You're likely to blow up your own stuff. Bad news, someone leaked intel and our goods are sitting in a secure vehicle compound. Well, the good news is that the police compound's right here. The one that they decided to. So, almost right exactly where I was going. Perfect. Not much more convenient than that for our last crate. So yeah, welcome back everybody. I am the missing sock. See, that's me in there. <laughs> and uh, we're getting our last crate. I was going to start this episode as I emptied the warehouse, but maybe we'll just start it with our last crate and go through some things about warehouses. Just going to maybe do a wear uh, recap at the, during the episode or at the end. So where is it? Can you guys see it? Oh, I know where it is. There's a little drive down there. Yeah, let's, let's land right over here. Let's hope they don't open up on us. Get over there. Vehicles. Um, sure, I think I got my Duke of Death ready as my last one. It'll do. It's got some armor protection. I still like my Duke of Death. No weaponry, but uh, but it's got a great uh, great damage resilience and speed. So it makes up for it that way. Some of the other better weaponized vehicles are awesome, but they don't quite have the damage resistance. You know, the ability to take some shots. And then there's some other good ones that take shots, but they're not, uh, they lack in speed. A little bit. Anyway, there's the police. And our truck should be right in there. Look at him, he's standing right on it. Huh. Well, let's take it and call Lester. That's mine. <laughs> well, let's go. No time to waste. Here we go. And let's call Lester. Come on, Lester. Hey, how can I help? Okay, so you're in serious trouble, and you need my help. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's red dots on my map down there. That might be a security guard. That might be a police officer that's got a personal vendetta with us. I don't know. But either way, when that happens to you in these missions of any kind, watch out for those red circles, um, including police officers, because they quite often don't care if you've got stars or not. Um, they will still shoot at you. So, And I also mean that because you'll call Lester like I just did, and those police shooting at me, if they were police, those red dots that were on the map, if they had a shot at me, um, it could have re-triggered the stars, and then I couldn't call Lester again because I've already called them. So, kind of watch out for those red ones anyway, basically. Yeah, it gets a little weird. So, that's the fog, in case any of you guys wonder. Yeah. It's got a weird effect on the fog, kind of blurriness. In the field. I like it, but it, uh, you know, it, it kind of can some, sometimes look a little glitchy. But I suppose I'd rather have it than no fog. And the fog's really good. It's just here and there when the fog hits the sunbeams, it's a little funny. Still looks cool though, like I'm saying. <laughs> Brains all over the back of our truck here. <laughs> so, last box. Yeah, electronic goods. Going in. Ooh. Trying to hunk the horn, but it wasn't working. There we go. Just sitting off the lights. All right, now uh, I was on a lonely session here, so sometimes you can just keep on changing sessions to find a lone one or just wait for people to leave sometimes. Yep, still am out. Good. Makes it a little easier sometimes. All right. So into our large warehouse, which holds a 111 crates. Yeah. All right, and we're at the end of the double money uh, event, which is why my thing says down there it's worth 4.4 million dollars and 40,000. Very cool. 
So that's why we're going to do it because it's the biggest sell I've ever done. <laughs> not sure. It might even be one of the biggest payouts you can get in the game. Uh, I'm not counting any like bonus runs or first time runs through ice or something like that. I don't know. It's probably one of the best. Now, unfortunately, it's at the end, guys, so you guys can't participate in the event this week, unfortunately. The good news is, well, two thumbs down for you, I mean. <laughs> but the good news is they'll bring it back again. Um, do I like the warehouses? Um, some people wonder. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily start it that way, and you might want to research them. They can be a bit of a pain, especially nowadays. They can be rated, and they used to only be rated if they weren't full. So you used to, a lot of people would be, keep one crate out, like I just kind of did, um, and then it, you wouldn't get raided. But that's no longer the case, guys. It seems like as you get past halfway, the raid chances increase and increase. So so if you like uh, hanging out in your CEO company, if you like using your buzzard, you know, your CEO buzzard and things like that, you might want to watch out for the raids that can happen with these things. Um, it's one of the downsides to me. Uh, I find uh, raids and stuff rather annoying, you know, and they don't really make you any money. They just uh, risk your money and for no profit and rather annoying thing. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, so watch out for that. So awful, very awful. Yeah. Now, if you are serious about the warehouses, um, you know, a lot of times one big large warehouse is the way to go. That's the most profit, the most risk, the most profit, the most full gets you the most profit ratio. Um, you guys can look up those ratios if you want to on the Wikipedia. I should have brought them up. Maybe maybe I'll put them in some other time in the future. But uh, basically, bigger is better. So, you know, if you're going to go, go for it. Go big, right? And unfortunately, they cost money, but they will pay for themselves, especially with events like right now where they give you the uh, double money. Now, um, if you are serious about the warehouses, though, and you like them, a lot of people tend to get two of them, which is rather even more expensive, but at the same time, you can uh, go back to back. So there is a cooldown timer when you buy crates, and like I said, I recommend buying three at a time. It's just the best cost for time, okay? So you do save money buying smaller amounts of crates, like one crate or two crate, but the savings is not worth it. You can run head under a sightseer or something and make that money back in no time and less time than it takes you to run each crate one at a time. So it's always better to do three crates, in my opinion. Now, um, yeah, so uh, there's a cooldown timer after that, though. But if you want, you can get two warehouses and go back to back. So you'd go to one warehouse and do a run, and then you do another one, and then, and then it would never get in your way of the, the cooldown timer. Now, that's if you're serious about it. I find uh, for myself and for most people, it's fine to just have one. Now, I actually have two on the map. I have my old medium one that's still there uh, in the back of... Uh, in the back of uh, Derriere Lingerie, I think it was, yeah, right there. And I keep my specials in there, and I've got three just for those fans of the show. I've got, uh, I think, the, the Sasquatch outfit, maybe not, and the uh, the diamond. No, I've got the diamond, the uh, egg, uh, the valuable egg, which we've had before in another episode, and the diamond and the, um, uh, the, the film reel. So I've got three of them in there. And I was hoping to do a collection for you guys, but it seems like maybe I've hit the limit. Maybe it doesn't give me, because I haven't had any more calls from her since. But you kind of have to be doing the crates, you know, to get for, for her to call you about the special things you can get other than these other ones the extra special cargoes um but she hasn't called me anymore so it might be a limit of three i don't know i haven't seen any videos with people showing a collection of them so maybe there is a limit yeah so uh you, and long story short you guys might want another little one if you wanted to uh, do what i'm doing keeping some special items like that in there or something like that all right so before we get started in the cell um you know kind of our recap here for those people there is right here there is all the uh, all the warehouses have this little tool bench and you can go in there to upgrade your vehicles. It is highly recommended to upgrade them, especially the plane. Um, you know, there's various reasons why, but we had our failures too because of it. So I've already upgraded all of these. And the good news is they carry over for all your warehouses. So you don't have to upgrade them on each one. It's just one time upgrade in one place and it covers for all your warehouses or future ones that you'd buy. All right, so that's that. Now, uh, 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 I'm going to go outside here for, no, I don't. Yeah, I've already got my car out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go up. All right, guys. Now, I'm going to retire from my company. I shouldn't even step out here, actually. Because raids. Those annoying raids. And I'm going to call in my vehicle here. We're going to go around the corner and uh, get my helicopter and bring it back. So probably just a buzzard or something. It's a good idea to get something like that ready ahead of time. If you don't come to arrive with it, usually I'd arrive with it, but we just got our last crate, right? So um, it's a good idea to have something like that ready because some of these missions can, you know, sometimes the trucks that it gives you, if it gives you the trucks, they'll be right here if we get those. But you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it gives you um, uh, the boats and things like that, and you might want a quick way of getting to your, uh, your, your cell, your cargo. Okay? And generally speaking, there's no quicker way than, than the air. Go pick up our other helicopter, we'll just call in a closer one. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? 
Slowing Thank down you, a little sir. bit there. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. Thank you. Unfortunately, I can't turn her off. I'd like to <laughs> for those particular messages. Uh, but yeah, I slow down because uh, sometimes if you get too close to the airfield, it won't spawn it in right. So it'll spawn it to the next closest one, which is boo, which is no good. So uh, sometimes as you're getting close, you might want to hang back a tiny bit to make sure that it uh, goes to the right airfield that you want, the closest one to you. All right. So I was going to let you guys go and come back, but really it's just around the corner for me, so no big deal. I like these locations along the coast. That's just for me. They're, I don't know, people wonder about best locations. Uh, they're really, again, to me, there is no best locations. It's best depending on you um, and where the places that you're familiar with and where your other stuff is, things like that, where you don't mind rescuing raids from. <laughs> and I've got my car warehouse here and other stuff, so I'm already on this side of the, 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 uh, the coast anyway, so it's no big trouble for me to have this uh, building here. All right. And they do do sales on these too, guys, so if you're investing, you might want to wait for a sale to buy some more. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should uh, back that up just a little bit. Make room for any vehicles that might appear. All right. Well, yeah, and it's a good idea to get your battle gear on, perhaps, things like that. I don't know if I'm going to bother this time. I usually do, though. All right. Okay. So, yeah, I think we'll go in there and do our sale. Woohoo. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, guys. So this is uh, the, the first big sale I've done in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, already. I haven't seen a full like this in a while. Yeah, these days I only do these uh, here and there when I'm bored. I tend to like the other things, like the car warehouse stuff. Um, just getting back to money making. Um, you know, the car warehouse, uh, uh, the bunker sells done solo. Um, like for lower amounts, is actually really easy, really great way to make money. Um, and there's a bunch of other ways too. So these uh, warehouses, as far as cons go, one of the other things that people don't like, but it's it's an illusion, and uh, it's an illusion that works on me too. But but uh, as you're going along, you, you, it can be a little unsatisfying because you're spending money to fill this all up, you know, and uh, you're taking the time and trouble, and there's no payout until right now, until we're going to go pay out for our pay. On top of that, there's all this risk that we're about to take on losing it all. Um, so for a lot of people, that's a lot to go through and a lot of negative before you see a positive, before you see your your big boost right um so uh you know some people aren't big on that particular process it is considered one of the best ways to make money in the game but sometimes it doesn't feel like it for some players so hopefully that makes sense for you guys yeah so i'm mixed on them but um you know like i said before um rockstar doesn't necessarily make it easy but you know if you want to make money sometimes you got to do do the things you don't like to to make more right if you're already maximizing it in in other ways you know you're already doing the most you can with other things yeah so let's have a look at the server we're actually alone still. Somebody came and went to think. Yep. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So like I said, this is my biggest sell ever. And why am I doing it solo? I don't recommend that. <laughs> yeah. I don't recommend doing it solo. Get friends to help you. You can do it solo, as we've shown in our older episodes. Um, but I don't recommend it. Get some friends. Uh, for me, it's late night. Um, I don't think there's really anybody really on at the moment. Yeah, and uh, they've got the bonus, like I already said, so double payout. So it's uh, so to me, I'm you know, it's already a two point four million dollar extra, right? Um, doubling my money. It's normally two point four million dollars for the large warehouse, and right now it's four point four, right? So I'm already going to lose two point four million dollars if I don't do it tomorrow, like till tomorrow or some other day. So I might as well do it now and take the chance on the four point four million. I hope that makes sense to you guys. But either way, I'm kind of losing, you know. Either way, I'd be losing some. If I did it the next day, I'd lose that 2.4. If I lose it now, now, well, at least I've taken the chance on the uh, the 4.4. <laughs> All right, no time like the present. Here we go. Wish me that. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, this is the part I do not like. I'm more of a laid-back grinder. <laughs> this is like intense grinding. Um, yeah, I've made more than that than any of my other uh, warehouse, too. But uh, they do pay for themselves. But, yeah, I do like some of the other ways. They're a little bit... Uh, better now when these first came out though they were the first expansion of this type for money making and it was pretty good and a lot of people still still like them to this day here we go 4.4 million dollars woohoo that'll definitely help the bank account yeah i know <laughs> uh, and you can cancel these things it does cost you some crates goods are loaded boss and ready for transport good if you can get this deal without any hiccups then we can celebrate let's go all right, so three deliveries. 
Okay, so these trucks can be a little funny to drive. But at least the trucks are right there, no traveling to the boat or, uh, or the plane or anything like that. And usually, some of these ones you have to find the location. So just taking them out, shaking them down won't work. Oh, it looks like we got enemies. I was going to say, there's variations on what you got to deal with. This time we just know the drop, but it looks like we're going to have to face attackers. Well, these trucks are tough. We're going to just keep on plowing through. Yeah, see, they tell you you can hide from other players, but it doesn't work against the NPCs. So, you know, I don't know. It's kind of ineffective in a sense. And you'll still be attracting attention with all the fighting. Yeah, now thankfully these are really tough trucks. So you don't have to worry too much about damage. And they armored, because I, I armored mine. But even unarmored, they're actually fairly tough. But I would suggest arming them. Armoring them. <laughs> okay. Let's go! Yeah, I've got my gun ready, but so far I haven't needed it. Okay, vehicles. Oh, actually. Okay, buzzard. These guys must be tied up in traffic. I was going to call in my other vehicle and fight them, but... Hopefully they're not going back there. They've never done that to me before. Usually they just chase after you. Oh, there he is. Right around me, see? Out of here. <laughs> yeah. Now, some missions you can kill all those guys, uh, but a lot of people feel like the time it takes you is not worth it. You can keep on plowing through. You know, fight them if you need to, but there's no bonuses, there's no money, there's no RP extra or anything like that for fighting them. So, you know, but uh, obviously defend yourself. But uh, I wouldn't waste time fighting them unless you need to. Now, some other people might say, though, that certain missions, maybe you can get to know which ones and know how many uh, enemies you have, and maybe it is easier to fight them. But I found usually in these types of missions, there's just way too many of them to worry about it. You know, you're just sitting around for too many minutes waiting for them all to arrive and fight you before you're clear. Thankfully, they're showing up on the map, even way over there. Coming through. Alright, truck number two. Now, there's another one of these missions where you have a radar tracker, a pinger. And uh, for those of you that get that one, um, you know, it's fairly easy. You just find your way to wherever they want you to drop it off using the radar tracker on your phone. Um, but once that's done, you can mark it on your GPS. You know, if, if you don't have the memory for it. And uh, uh, it's the same spot for all your other trucks. So you can just quickly jump in the next truck and you'll find that the GPS tracker will send you to the exact same location. So you can just keep going. Come through. <laughs> so that's on the uh, radar pinger tracker one. You'll know about that one. It'll be on your phone thing. This one, I'm not really sure if we're going to the same location or not. It's Sending me on a different way on the GPS this time. But sometimes it's just weird that way. Come on. Look at... Whoa, what was that? That was a bike. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Good thing we're armored. He must have just been perfectly underneath. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I meant to only maim you, not completely destroy you. <laughs> oh, same location, but slightly uh, different. Let me just wedge in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, quickly run. And you can get any quick vehicle you want, but I like uh, getting the buzzard. Oh, of course it puts it over there. Of course it does. <laughs> Parkour, skill time. <laughs> run, run, forest, run. Yeah, so, lots of fun, but definitely way too intense for me. <laughs> yeah. 
So Rockstar gave us this way to make money, and it's, I think, one of the best, if not the best, uh, big payouts in the game. But man, do they make it a pain, and raids, and, and take time, and investment, and, uh, and then the joy of putting it all on the line. <laughs> Uh, I should say though, um, um, you know, you can wait for a lonely session like we're in right now, if we still are, yeah, um, which is good. Um, but, uh, you know, there is something to be said for doing it with friends and on a busy session. Um, I've done it with a friend before, and I think we, there was only like 10, 12 people in the uh, session, and there was a full company, so four of us in the company. Um, so really not too many people in, you know, a possible 30-person session. Um, and uh, his uh, bonus payout on the uh, 2.4 million was 400,000. So that's a decent payout. Like, I wouldn't call it good necessarily on the total value, but it's actually a fairly decent bonus. Most of Rockstars don't be in bonuses are not usually even worth it. But uh, that one's actually not too bad. So something to be said for doing it on a busy session if you're brave or you like that or you got uh, the friends to, uh, to do it. You know, um, the bonuses are actually fairly decent for this one particular type of way of making money. Yeah, Rockstar, Rockstar loves having no consistency. <laughs> Bonuses here, no bonuses there. And I should also mention that the bonus is only for the CEO, which I found disappointing. You know, the bodyguards get no bonus. So I think that's a little, um, yeah, a little, little crappy. The, bo the bodyguard should necessarily see the same bonus, but, you know, if the CEO gets a bonus like that, then why wouldn't the, uh, the bodyguards that go through all that risk too, right? Yeah, just my opinion, I guess. All right, so truck number three. Slightly different GPS this time. Probably the same location somewhere around the corner around it. We'll follow GPS for now. But as you guys know, you don't always have to. These trucks can take a little bit to get the hang of at first. I'm actually doing pretty good this time. Maybe it's because of all this practice in the past. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, that pole doesn't smash. Uh. But uh, the truck drives funny. It's like a backwards shopping cart or something, you know, if you, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's uh, weird, you know. It's actually quite um, agile, you know, in a sense, but it's, it doesn't feel like it because it's such a funny vehicle to drive. But as you get used to it, you realize it's actually uh, kind of uh, maneuverable. All right, so where are we going here? Are we squeezing by there? No. Uh, that doesn't look good. Let's, it wants us to go over here. I was going to try to squeeze through, but I'm going to have to ram my way through my own truck. See, that's not a good drop location. Jeez. Block myself. Oh. Wrong way. So, yeah, so you guys know, if I lost all these trucks, all the $4.4 million is gone. So, big risks. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. I can't believe this. Come on, baby. Come on, get through. Yeah, there we go. Yay! <laughs> oh, we did it. Yeah. And didn't even have to fight very many of those NPCs, or did we even fight any of them? Wow. So, yeah, you can avoid them. Woohoo! All right, rank up two, and I think that's the most money we've ever had, possibly. 16.6 .6 million. Wow. I gotta spend more. <laughs> All right. I was gonna hop out of my company, but I guess I won't be raided now. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Well, there's a heart attack uh, saved. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, a bit of a warehouse recap for you guys. Um, now, the crates themselves, some people wonder how much they're worth. Generally speaking, most people consider the value to be about 37, 38,000 a crate. Um, if you're doing it on the large warehouses like you should. So it's about 37, 38,000 a crate, I think, is what it works out to be. Um, yeah, so it's a decent profit maker, lots of risk. You know, and uh, I've lost, and uh, I would say if you get into these kinds of businesses, be prepared to lose too. Although, you know, it's always great if you can avoid it, but if you go in expecting it every now and again, maybe it won't hurt so much when it happens. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, you know, we've got over 4,000 subscribers now. It's amazing. Yeah, uh, thanks a lot, guys. It's, uh, it's free, and it really helps us out. So thanks. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Very awesome. And I thought uh, today we'd do our biggest fail yet or our biggest win yet. Turns out it was our biggest win. Yeah. <laughs> And like I said, don't do that solo. I had no choice. I figured, ah, it's worth the risk, right? Why not take the chance? Yeah, I got a little backed up in my time, but uh, but we made it. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe we'll call in our uh, call in a different vehicle here. Maybe our race car. Maybe I'll do some more races before that's done. 
So all in all, I think that's about it for the warehouses, guys. Um, I think I covered the, uh, the crates. Need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. And let's get our hovering saber. It's coming at you. And the cost of them, and the risk, and uh, yeah, the pros and cons. And I think that's about all of them for them. The other sail types uh, you guys can see on our channel. We've got the boat on there and the uh, the, the um, uh, Titan plane, which after it's armored is actually per fairly uh, fairly decent. So you can learn stuff from our uh, episodes on there too. All right, and as you can see, it can be done solo, although not recommended. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not, uh, not right to hop in there without the right outfit on. There we go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Now, if you have any questions about it, feel free to put it in the comments. Maybe we'll do another video on this soon, or I'll try to get back to you. But, uh, but yeah. yeah, like I said, the warehouses are a good complement to our circle of money making. I, I wouldn't recommend starting with them. Definitely not. I'd recommend other things like the car warehouses. Um, the bunker's really easy, and the bunker's actually not too bad. You know, like I've said before, you know, you don't need the truck. You don't need all the uh, decorations. All you need is a bunker fully upgrade it and you can you can uh, do cells easily by yourself and make a decent amount of money all right well for another day <laughs> take care everybody go through You know, I should probably, maybe I should thank myself with an Eleanor, Ellie. Yeah, I haven't gotten none of those yet. Thought that'd be a great reward for after this. Either make myself feel better for the fail, <laughs> or make myself feel good for uh, rewarding myself for the win. Get myself one of those new Mustangs. Yeah, just for a collector's item. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody.